Hey everyone, it's Tom from Mad Science Films. So today I am going to be giving you my favourite tips and hints to help you navigate around Premiere Pro and hopefully speed up your workflow. My first tip is the plus and minus keys. Um, plus and minus will literally zoom in and out of your project. There are other ways to do this, um, but you know, we're trying to do everything on the keyboard. So if you want to jump between clips, um, instead of pulling the playhead over, if you just press the up and down buttons, it, it'll jump between your clips. So up would be moving back and down would be moving forward pressing left and right you're going in and out of frames if you need to do little cuts and just minute editing that that could obviously be helpful if you've accidentally uh, deleted something or you've cut something out and you realize oh actually maybe I did want to keep that command and Z um, command and Z will bring that back um, you can obviously go back into the sub menus and do that but that's just a much faster way of doing it Something that every editor, every filmmaker can relate to is software crashing, you know. I've worked on several different bits of software um, and they've all got the same problem. You know, you work with a lot of data, a lot of information and sometimes just overwhelms the computer and you've lost all that time and you might not have saved for, you know, an hour, half hour. So a quick little tip is the command and S button and just get into the habit doing that every couple of minutes, command and S and you're saving that work. You've decided you wanted to cut this bauble out, you don't like that bauble for whatever reason. If you go to the C button, you can then just cut whatever you want on your selected clip. You know, it just means that you're not navigating around the, the computer like I've said before. And all these tips are obviously just to speed up your editing time. After you've cut something, you might want to go back to the selection tool. If you just press the V button, it takes you to the selection tool. The selection tool is actually quite a handy tool, a tool you probably use more than most. Now we've deleted all this footage, we've got a gap. What you could do is the old school way of just selecting everything and dragging it across. The problem you've got with that, if you haven't got snapping on, you can easily go into other footage and just get rid of the footage you need and you know it, it can be quite cumbersome doing it that way. If you select in between the footage it should highlight it. Now if you press the delete button it should close the gap for you. You've got your footage, it's a bit quiet, you decide that you actually would like the uh, audio to be a bit louder. If you just select the clip and press the G button you can do the in-house audio there. On that note, you can also press the open and close bracket buttons and that will take up your audio levels um, up and down. Sometimes when you're doing it manually, it is quite tricky, especially if you're a bit more zoomed out and you're trying to do it, it does become a bit cumbersome, just a bit easier to work with. Say you decide you wants to change the speed or duration of a clip for whatever reason. If you hold down Command and R, it brings that up really nice and quickly and it just means that you're not messing around and going through the other menus. So I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and feel free to comment below. Cheers.